Hey guys, BossAx7 here, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make spiral staircases in No Limits 2. Um, here I've built a test track kind of section to, you know, help with the tutorial on uh, showing you guys how to do this. So let's get started. So first thing is you want your preferences to be exactly like this. So snap distance 0.8, snap angle 15, grid size 0.8. That should be good. All right, let's go to top view. Now this also doesn't matter, it can be any height, any track, you'll see later on um, how you can adjust the stairs to any height of track or any angle too. So we'll get started here. Let's unfreeze this. Go to supports, add free node. Alright, make sure this node is centered on one of these uh, grid crosses. So let's go to front, let's move this up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to add one on each each uh, square here. All right, that should be good for now. All right, now, we're, now we have to make a circle around this to make the spiral, and I'll show you this real easy. So we're gonna count out four squares, one, two, three, four here. Same on this side. One more here, another one here. All right, so now we have this pattern of five dots. Let's make sure we have the top one selected here. And we do, all right. So let's go to front view. Let's highlight these ones. Make sure these are clicked. This one right here, so all four of these. We're gonna wanna line them up to the top one. So let me show you guys in perspective what this should look like. Get this one in there. All right. So we have this piece right here. You're gonna to wanna to go to top view, define copy, add define paste, highlight the whole thing, press rotate. And remember your, your preferences should be snap angle 15. So keep that. Move this, rotate it once and line this up. So make sure you grab it by this middle dot or else it won't line up properly. So line this up right above. Go to front view. Make sure it's lined up, which it is. Go back to the top, and we should be good. So let's highlight this whole thing again. So now with these two, and only one dot on the top, so perspective. All right, grab those. Add the fine paste, we're gonna do this twice. Oops, I didn't copy it. <laughs> All right, let's do this one more time. Define copy, add two of them. Let's take this one, rotate it twice. One, two, throw it in there. So it lines up, make sure it's lined up there again. All right, we're good. And same with this one, rotate it three times. One, two, and three. Oops, one more. All right, that should fit perfectly. Oh, one more. There we go. All right, so see, now we have a circle. It's an easy way to do it. All right, so next step, we're gonna have to copy this section in the middle. The middle is very important to keep it, keep these all lined up. Um, if you move it at all, just press Control Z to fix it. All right, so we have the circle. Top view again, define copy. We're gonna add, add four more of these. So one, two, three, and four. Line these up directly underneath. Go to front view and page down one space. So each one's a square apart. Let's do the same for these ones. All right, so now you have five uh, rings. That's what we're gonna need for the staircase. Let's keep this really simple. All right, so make things easy. Let's go to add beam. Support panel, let's just do a uh, custom color, make it blue. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, we're gonna have to make a custom pipe. Make sure this is 0.19 if you're in feet. So I'm using everything in feet, so just make sure that. All right, and then uh, close that out. 
And for the top ones, we're just gonna wanna connect all the top top beams or uh, top nodes. All right, there we go. So let's make sure all the top ones are connected, which they are. All right, here comes the fun part. <laughs> all right, so let's highlight the whole thing. Let's get this section. You're not. You want to keep a section um, lined up with the catwalk. So that would be this right here. I'm gonna highlight that, and oh, let me do this again. Shouldn't have highlighted the whole thing. All right. We want to keep all of these in the same spot. Um, don't worry about those nodes. Those don't matter. All right. All right, you're gonna to want to page down one, unlink the rest. Come on, stop moving. All right, unlink these ones, page down again, unlink these ones, page down again, unlink. See, it's moving, so I'm just pressing Control Z to counteract it. Um, page down. Page down. So you finish the first section. It's all you want so far. Let's move the rest of this out and put it back up here. Let's page up. All right, that should be good. Let me actually delete these two. Deletes. Let's move these into position. All right, there we go. So this is one tier. This is all you're gonna need for right now. So now we need to make the stairs and the railings. So for the railings, you're gonna to want to support panel. Make sure this is on, oops, add beam first. Make sure this is on 0.13 in feet, remember that. All right, we're gonna add it on each one of these, each one of uh, these beams here. Make sure you don't miss, uh, make sure you keep them lined up too. All right, there we go. So now you're gonna to wanna to keep this bottom, um, these bottom nodes empty. You're gonna, you're gonna, we'll do those later. So um, let's freeze this now, see what it looks like. All right, that looks good. All right, unfreeze it. Let's go to supports, support panel. Number point, um, point nine, one nine again. This is for uh, the vertical rails. So it's, what is this? <laughs> no, huh? All right. Let's take, delete that. All right. So add beam. Make sure this is on 0.19. All right. We're good. And add these vertically. All right. There we go. It's coming along. Go to supports again, support panel, this time box beam. Um, custom. I cannot find it right now. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's do with, um, let's try 0.8 and then 0.3. Actually, 0.2. Let's try that. All right, so add beam. Let's see what the, oh, yeah. And for these ones, the stairs on the ends, um, or at the start rather, put it at Point two, so it kind of overlaps the rail just a little bit. All right, let's see um, these line up. Let's see, let's test that. All right, that looks like a good size. I'm actually just going to change the color here. Um, supports, support panel, let's add beam. 
Let's make like a gray. All right, there we go. All right, so let's just add the beam, the beam uh, parallel to these nodes. So just like this. That's why we drew this pole in first. And make sure you start from this node here, since we added the um, at the start. So you need to start from right here. All right, so we got the stairs. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, that looks really good. Alright, so these should be overlapping on the ends, which they are. That's good, that's good. Okay, unfreeze it. Now we can put the vertical beam in. So add beam, support panel, uh, custom pipe. Let's make it just one. And yeah, that should be good. Um, just dr draw from the top to the bottom where you need it. So right about here. Then you can delete the rest of these. Freeze that. Make sure it's not too big. All right, that looks really good. All right, so now for different heights, all you have to do is copy and paste. So supports, um, define copy. Make sure you highlight the whole thing. Add define paste. Top view. Place two of them. Um, you push these up, page up. Just make sure they're out of the ground. All right, let's grab this one, line it up um, directly above. Why is this not moving? Hold on. All right, there we go. Line this up directly above um, your previous one. And they should line up perfectly when you page up. So, yeah, just like that. Now make sure they're, they're spaced just like all the other ones so they flow. All right, let's do another one. Yeah, make sure they line up perfectly. All right, so it should disappear like that when it's underneath. All right, and page down. Space down one more, there we go. I guess we can add one more here. And then top view, add to find. Page up a little bit here. All right, let's move this directly underneath. Now it doesn't matter if it sinks into the ground, uh, we can fix that later. All right, so page down this, make sure it drops down one. All right, now even though it sinks into the ground, that's fine. Um, all you have to do is delete some of the stairs. We'll go down to here, that looks good. Let's keep. Uh, let's keep this and delete that. Delete. All right, now let's freeze it. All right, there's a staircase. So now I'm going to show you guys how to at how to uh, attach it to the catwalks. All right, yeah, checking it out. Make sure there's no flaws. Uh, that's right. So right here where you copied and pasted them, you need to connect them. So go back to make sure you remember. So point for the top rail, you want 0.9. So custom pipe 0.19 for the top rail. Let's put the color back and make sure you zero this out. And for the parts that you connect with the copy and paste, you're going to connect the two. So where is it at here? All right, so right here. So. For the top ones are 0 0.9, 0 0.19, one more here, and one more here, and then for the bottoms, 0.13, and then let's connect them. Oops, those are the wrong ones. One, two, and three. Yeah, it gets kind of hard to see with a lot of support nodes, um, but I look at the sky to kind of help it out, help me out with uh, finding them. And one more here. All right, let's freeze it. All right, that looks good. It's 
even. Stairs are a touch above the ground, it's perfect. There's actually some underground here, but that doesn't matter. Alright, so let's connect to the catwalk here. So, now this is where, there's an easy way to do it, that's just to uh, connect this end right here to this end of the catwalk, but if you want a little more realistic way, I'll show you that right now. So, this is also just a demo ride, so you can apply this to any ride you want. Even if the catwalk's angled, you can still uh, attach this to the end the way I'm doing it. So, let's go to top view, let's unfreeze it. Now, it doesn't matter what your coaster is, um, go to uh, track, go to start vertex, so this is going to be a new track. And then you're going to want to add some nodes here, about four of them. Oops. Alright, there we go. Make sure these are lined up perfectly on this track. And real quick, um, so this is kind of a dummy catwalk, that's the whole th point of it. So um, you're going to add type separate, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> you're going to add a type separator right here. Um, take this one and make sure there's no catwalk enabled on the, sec on the back side of it. And on the front side, make sure there is. So let's go to catwalk and left. I'm using left, you can use left or right, doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you use um, the right side, for the way I pulled this down on the circle, just pull it down the opposite way for a backwards spiral. <laughs> so, um, make sure this doesn't have catwalk either. All right, we're good. Let's just freeze this, see what it looks like. Make sure the catwalks are right. It's not even there. All right, so, <laughs> left, left, and three, two. All right, there we go. Let's highlight this, line it up perfectly to this track. All right, you wanna take this node, put it right behind this type separator and line this up parallel to it. And then uh, pull this forward, about four spaces. So one, two, three, four, right about here. And this is gonna pull all the way to this end right here, parallel to this. All right, so you'll see what the point of this is later in a little bit. Um, we're gonna wanna take this dummy track, it's actually not on the ride, and apply a catwalk to it. So left, left. Keep all that, okay? All right, and make the segment invisible. There we go, let's freeze it. All right, so you should get this cool effect um, I'm actually going to tighten this up a little bit here, but we'll do that in a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks good. So you have this, this catwalk and this one inside of each other. So you have this little walkway. Alright, so now you want to fill in this gap right here. So this is this part's really simple. You want It's kind of hard to tell first since the catwalks disappear when you unfreeze it, but uh, you'll get the hang of it. So just go to add free node, to add two of them here. We're going to line this up with uh, one of these with the type separator. Let's go to front view. Let's line this up too. Let's see here. All right, so the catwalk should be parallel with the track here. Well, we can make adjustments later. And let's grab this end node and pull all the way to the type separator in the back. Let's go to top view, make sure they're lined up. And it's good. All right, so let's go to add beam, support panel, custom box beam. Width should be about, uh, let's make it 3.8, and height should be 0.5. And let's grab uh, from this node to this one with the beam. So it shouldn't stretch the length of the catwalk. Um, let's see here, Let me pull this one a little bit more. All right, now we just this is just trial and error here, so you just want to keep testing it out until it kind of suits your needs and it's level. All right, so we need to pull it up a little bit more and pull this forward a little bit more. Let's raise it up, see what it looks like. Raise it up, raise this up one, freeze it. All right, obviously too high. So in this situation, you want to grab both of them, go to front view, 
Make sure you're on front view and make sure you have both of them highlighted. Let's turn snap off and carefully drag it down a little bit. All right, just a tiny bit there, let's freeze it. All right, so you should have this segment that connects all the way through. It's actually still a little bit too low, what the heck. <laughs> all right, let me just uh, widen this up a little bit, 0.7, should be good. All right. So this is just um, a test coaster really, but uh, this will all vary like the length and everything, so you kind of have to adjust it to your own needs. But um, let's test this out. This should be good. All right, got the walkway. Lines up. All right, there we go. So for this end, for the catwalk, it's a little bit lower. I'm actually just going to lower this. I'll lower it later or add more to it. Um, so we're going to grab the catwalk, line it up the best you can um, for right now on the top view. Oh my gosh, why is it not grabbing it? Hold on. Alright, let's pull this up. Alright, let's pull this off to the side just a tiny bit here. down all right let's freeze that let's test it all right see so let's check out the height a little bit higher and a little bit closer perspective Let's freeze it. All right, still higher. <laughs> All right, so like I said, just trial and error. Just keep on uh, adjusting it till you get what you want. There we go. So, you can actually lower that a little bit. Yeah, let me pull it and pull this up. Let's page this up a few times. You can actually make this into a light tower or speaker or something when you're done too. So, um, I'm actually going to adjust this down a little bit so the stairs line up. And unsnap. Let's pull this down. Let's pull down to about. About halfway should be fine. All right, test that out. All right, somehow that got too close. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so um, hold on. Front. All right, that's close enough for now. So that looks pretty good. Um, connects to the catwalk, it separates from the train. It's in the envelope, so you can't touch it. Uh, the car doesn't, you can't have people reach their arms out and hit the rail or anything like that. It's, uh, pre it's a pretty simple way to do it. I have a lot of other things I would add, like um, sensors and all that kind of stuff and and um, little uh, electrical boxes. I can add all that kind of stuff to the catwalk to make it look really realistic. Um, this is on, we can extend that later, but uh, yeah, this is a tutorial. I'll probably have a little show off segment at the end of this um, with supports and everything. So stay tuned first in a second here. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is the final product of the test track with the staircase on it. I think it looks really nice, came out really well. Um, connects perfectly to the rail up top here. And also connects um, to this inside right here, so. 
The, also, the catwalk pulls off to the side really nicely with this nice curve in the rail onto the staircase, and you can also keep walking forward um, with the ECBR or the brake room. So, um, yeah, so this is a little test tutorial to show you guys how to make spiral staircases. I can probably make another tutorial on how to make box staircases too for maybe inside towers or on on X coasters, that kind of stuff. So if you like that, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.